Happy Friday. How are you going today? Comment below what you're going to do this weekend or tonight because I've had a long week and this is going to be an amazing week. And look where I am right now. I am at the Merritt Hotel in Sydney. And today is, or tonight I should say, it's a very important uh, moment for me. It's because my two aunties, they came over from China to visit my, myself and my family. And this event is very significant it's because when year 10, that was how many years ago? Eight, nine years ago. I remember going to China in Hong Kong and I used to be obsessed with basketball in high school. And I remember going to Mong Gok in Hong Kong. If you know where that is, comment yes, because Mong Gok is all these, you know, merchandise and all this stuff that I love to buy, you know. And what happened was I saw Kobe Bryant's jersey. You know the basketball jersey, Kobe Bryant? He's a very famous basketball player, if you don't know who he is. And I remember wanting that jersey. That jersey was, he's my dream player. I used to really mimic Kobe Bryant. I used to be very obsessed with basketball in high school. And I wanted that jersey. And look at the price tag. And I remember seeing it and it was like, my jaws dropped. I was like, it was 900 Australian dollars. I'm like, okay, how am I gonna afford that? You know, I was, a, I was a very poor year 10 student back then. I could not afford that. But then thankfully, my auntie was next to me. And she said to me in Chinese, hey Matthew, do you like that jersey? And I was like, yes, yes, he's my dream player. I wanna be like Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant. I was pointing at number 24, 24, that's, that's him. And then I was like, but then I got really sad because I didn't have the money to purchase it. And then my auntie did something very, like to me, it was like breathtaking, very, how should I say, made me almost cry. What she did was, hey Matthew, if you like it so much, how about I buy it for you? And this was when I'm like, no, 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 don't waste your money, it's too expensive, $900 for a piece of clothing. Too expensive for a 15 year old kid. She said, no, Matthew, I want to buy for you because I just want to make you happy. And this is when I really, at the moment, my 15 year old self was thinking, that's very cool, very deep, very generous. And I remember receiving that jersey and I literally almost cried. I was happiness. I was so happy that day receiving that gift from my auntie that day. And I remember just seeing her face, just like, you know, a big smile on your face. Here you go, Matthew, you know, enjoy life, become an awesome basketball player, off you go. And I received it with all, like, I was almost tearing up. And since that moment until today, I've never ever repaid that same auntie ever in any way, because I wasn't earning much until you know, when I graduated university and she rarely comes to Australia and I haven't been back to China for eight years. I never ever repaid her that favor since, what, 10 years ago, a decade ago. I haven't repaid her at all. And this was when I was thinking, look, she came to Australia this month. You know what? I'm gonna buy her dinner tonight. So this is why I'm here. They're sitting over there, choosing the menu right now. And I, tr I feel really, truly grateful for her, what she's done for me. I really want to repay her for what she's done for me when I was a kid. You know, I, I reckon life is all about paying it forwards, being generous to yourself, being generous to others. Because the more you, sh you give, the more you shall receive. And you know, all successful people out there, those who are fulfilled and successful, they're the ones who've got ethnocentric goals. Now those who've got egocentric goals, those are the people who are successful, but they're not feel fulfilled. And as Tony Robbins famously said, success without fulfillment, that is the ultimate failure in life. There are so many people up on the top of the success mountain and they don't feel happy, they feel depressed. And this is why so many people are suicide because they thought, you know, once they got money, life will give them happiness. But that is not true. 
And it's because they do not focus on ethnocentric goals. If you focus just on, you know, I want to get rich to buy myself a Lamborghini, that big house, so I can show off to the world. Well, guess what? You, you won't be fulfilled. And I believe life is all about, of course, making yourself successful, but also to give it away once you've got the money. If you feel the same, comment yes. It's because this is what I realized just very recently when I thought this before I was very selfish, very stingy with money, very stingy. I never used to never ever give out money to people. I never offer help. I never shout out my parents' dinner. I was a very tight person. And looking back right now, I regret it every single minute. And I really wish that I was a more generous person early on. But I'm very glad that this auntie, she showed me what, what's life's about. It's about giving back to the community, giving back to your loved ones. Because right now, I'm working very hard to retire my parents because they've been working all their life just to provide for me. And I never show them much in regards to generosity and thankfulness and gratitude. This is why I am working hard to retire them. And life is all about giving back to people. That's what I believe. That's fulfillment to me. And this is the deep story that I want to tell you about how this auntie has taught me a lot about life. It's about you know, making others happy. Of course, it's, it's good to make yourself happy, but you can't be happy yourself. You've got to have relationships with others. That is what gives you fulfillment. So one of my mentors told me, true happiness is what you've got left after all your money has been taken away. So if you just have money, then that is, to me, not fulfillment. You don't have that pe those people, your loved ones who to share with. So this is why I believe that it's very important to not just treasure every day of your life, spending time with your loved ones, really enjoying every single minute, not taking them for granted because you don't know when life will end. Life is very fleeting. Look, it's, it's already September tomorrow, right? That's ridiculous. And we don't know when you know, we'll all die. So treasure every second of your life, regardless of what, how busy you are. Because I believe that a lot of people on this planet, they're taking it for granted. They're saying, look, my life is very, I don't know, miserable. You don't understand. You know, it's, I've got a full-time job. It's very draining. I'm very emotionally drained every single day. But then you look at people, I think it's two-thirds of the population. They live on $2 a day. They will die to be in your position. So make sure you always feel grateful for life and really treasure what you've got. Because that is what life's about. It's giving back to others and living the fulfillment they truly deserve. Now, I hope you enjoyed this live stream. I know it's pretty much of a deep one, something that not, not normally talk about, but I feel like today it's a very great moment to bring it up because of the special occasion, this dinner that I've got with my auntie. And I can't wait to have dinner with them and really just relax and be thankful, be grateful as a person. So thank you very much for listening to this live. And as always, get out there and ready, fire, aim, and go live a life truly worth living. I'll see you on the next video soon. Take care.